Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be talking about how to build a CI-CD pipeline on AWS. And for demonstrating this, I will be deploying a React, ac React application on AWS. So let's see which topics, topics or which AWS services I will be covering. There will be mainly four services, AWS Code Build, Code Deploy, Code Artifacts, and code pipeline so these are the major offerings from aws which help us to build ci cd pipeline on the on top of it and the build project or the build file will be dip, uh, i will be hosting on s3 bucket so without wasting time let's get started i have logged into aws console so let's create a s3 bucket for hosting our website So let's create I will be learning learning C I C I C D and some random numbers so that it will be a unique one. Let all uh, we let leave it everything by default and let's create a bucket. Okay, so here's our bucket. And in this bucket, we'll be using this bucket to host our AWS website. Uh, sorry, the React website. So let's enable static website hosting. And the file will be index.html. Here we go. So let's start. And let's allow public access to our bucket. Yeah. So bucket is publicly accessible now. Yeah. Okay, so now let's add the bucket policy for making our files accessible. These are the standard policies which are available on the internet. So not much alteration is required here. So yeah, so I will add uh, my bucket ARN. So my bucket ARN is this one. Okay. So it shows that all the files after this ARN will be accessible to the public. Okay, so almost of the settings of the S3 bucket is ready. So now let's dig into code build. So now we are in code build. Let's create a build project. It will be, let's make it a long CICD. Okay. What will be the source of our code? So you can use any of the source like Bitbucket, GitHub, AWS code commit. So I will be using GitHub because I have a sample uh, React app created there. So I will be connecting that. So here is my sample React app. Okay. Nothing is there. It is just a blank React app. Okay. So let's create it here. Okay. Connecting to GitHub is very simple on AWS. It, it's just using OAuth or SSH. So environment image will be managed by AWS. We don't, we are not creating any Docker images. Okay. Now here's the interesting part, build spec file. So either you can upload through your, or you can insert yours. Okay. So let me show what build spec file I will be using. And let me show you. So the build spec file I will be using is uh, version will be 0 0.2. So these are the uh, versions you can either choose one or two. These are defined by AWS. Okay, like in the earlier version, they have some features in the second version. They have deprecated some features for the build spec. And here the runtime version I will be using is Node.js 16.x. X denotes the latest stable version. They will automatically pick. 
So in our local machine also we do npm install. Here we are doing npm ci. So ci means clean install. So in the like suppose you are doing in an automated environment. So npm ci just clean means properly installs and cleans everything. And next it will be npm run build which we also do in our react application if we build locally. So now here's the interesting part, the code artifacts. Code artifact is the, what is the output of the build file? Okay, so all the files will be built from here. Means all the directories and the base directory where the, our build file will be generated. That will be under build folder. It is a standard in React applications. And for the cache, we are uh, caching the node modules folder every items in the known models if you it's an optional thing but if you don't cache then the subsequent builds will be slower compared to first one first one obviously will take time so but subsequently only the changed portion will take time so no artifacts huh. so now it is the artifact so if you want to generate a artifact okay like the build project Okay, well, means the build file or the build zip file that also you can generate it. So let me show you. So in this tutorial, I'm adding that part also. Like, let's generate in this learning CICD folder only. And if you don't name anything, it will be just name of your project. So let's be the name of the project. Okay, namespec space type means you can build. Uh, like it is an optional thing so the build folder will be the name of your build id every time a new id will be generated so i'm just demonstrating you can try this by yourself well, let's create a build id also so let's zip and create it or um, just extract it okay so that you can see the outcomes or you can zip it also in a zip format so let's create a build project uh, so here our build is starting, build is going on, going on, going on. Okay, so pre-build state is succeeded, install state is succeeded. Okay, artifacts is also situated. Great. So great, our build is complete. If we check the build projects, okay, build is succeeded. Okay, so we'll check. Let's check the artifacts in the S3 bucket. Yeah, so learning CICD. Yeah, see, this is a build ID. Okay, in the build ID, this is the name of our build project. And this is basically the file index.html. Okay, but this is uh, it is a manual every time you need to create a build, right? So, our build part is complete. We have connected to the code now. We need to deploy it automatically so that a webhook should be there which will communicate oh, any new changes are there start the deployment process as soon as possible so that is what the CICD means so integration part we have done integrated with the code we have completed the build we have generated the artifacts now the continuous deployment process we need to build so guys we are in the code pipeline let's create a code pipeline let the name of the pipeline be on CICD okay let's move ahead okay let's use an existing role okay the source for this code will be GitHub as we had in our build spec also, build AWS code build also. We, it can be bit bucket, it can be from the container if you're building a Docker file, it can be AWS code commit. So I'll be using GitHub because we have our React application on GitHub. Let's connect to GitHub. Okay, let's confirm it. Let's repository, launch CICD branch will be main. And here's the webhook, the webhook part, GitHub webhook, it will be like automatically asking, polling, like, do you have a latest commit as or a latest commit or not, latest commit or not. As soon as the latest commit comes, it will uh, 
push the code pipeline to deploy the app latest version of the app for the build we will be having AWS code build project name will be launch CICD you can add your environment variables also environment variables are like you can add your API keys or like uh, database username passwords and also any secret thing secret variables you can store here and the deploy stage there are multiple ways to deploy you can deploy on elastic beanstalk you can deploy a uh, ias service like aws cloud formation you can deploy a container uh, container image docker image on a container like ecs but we'll be using aws s3 since our website is a react simple website so the artifact generated is a zip file by default okay here if we deploy so we want to extract this before we deploy it so that we have that index.html file so let's use this bucket bucket will be this one since we have enabled the website hosting let's move ahead let's create the pipeline okay so our pipeline is ready so we have like it is getting the code from the source it will then um, build the project and deploy on our s3 bucket so we are deploying once building once again and we have cache enabled so this time build will be faster compared to last time so by the time it builds let's wait so hey guys our build is complete our code is also de our build file is also deployed so let's check the bucket let's refresh it yeah so the new files are being ready now let's check the hosting of our website so this is the website yeah so we have built successfully a react application using a ci cd pipeline and let me show you how it will work now i am showing you let's create a commit github commit and how automatically deployment process will start so let's edit this file and let me delete this okay let's create a simple p tag that we are learning if and CICD on AWS learning CICD on AWS for React application. Okay, let's commit these changes. Okay, now we have pushed the commit. Okay, and let's see how the code pipeline reacts. See, build source. They are picked as soon as the commit was initiated. Update app.js commit ID was 4e9. Let's check our commit ID was 4e9. If you go here, if you go like see 4e9, this is the latest commit. And now build has again started. So, in case if this build fails, then also our app will be live using the earlier build. Okay, so nothing to worry. It is so simple. So you don't need to worry again of the deployment that build again upload nothing. You just will focus on the business part. Build deployment will be managed by AWS. So let's wait until the build is complete again. So here guys, our build is again complete. It just succeeded just now and it is also deployed so let's see the changes yeah so th this was all deploying creating a ci cd pipeline on aws you saw live how to deploy how we created a change to our application and how it is reflecting so thanks for watching this video in the next video i'll be uh, giving a demo or learning we will be learning something new on aws cloud so thanks once again bye